All right, I'm gonna try this again because of course my camera died and of course it deleted all the footage, every bit of it. All right. Hi guys. Hi. How's it going? How are you doing today? Hopefully today finds you well. Today I am doing my February update for Duck of Panning. I'm so excited about it. Duck of Panning is the project that I use for usage <laughs> of the products that I have in my collection and it is the brainchild of Emily from Emily and Max here on YouTube. She did create this game utilizing inspiration that she took from a TBR game by Books with Maddie. All the information on this is down in my description box and Emily is a genius for creating this for the YouTube space, for the beauty YouTube space I should say. And there is a ton of us that participate in this game. There is a playlist for you to go watch if you so choose. But there's also all the information, like I said, down in my description box for you if you want to also play the game. This game runs from January 20th to December 20th, and we take a month off in between for new prompts to be added and for Emily to get her intro video out. And this is the fourth year that they have been doing this game and my second year participating in this game because it's just so darn fun. You need just a deck of cards, your beauty collection, and the game board that Emily puts together and shuffles every single month with new prompts. So whether you're utilizing a three of hearts this month, you can still pull three of hearts next month and it'll likely be a different prompt. It's so much fun. The only thing that does not change is the face cards and the Joker, those things stay the same. It'll probably make a lot more sense as we roll through it. And if you're familiar with the game, of course, you know, but as soon as we start running through it, you'll understand more if you're unfamiliar. For those of you new here, hi, my name is Donna. I'm a lover of all things high and colorful beauty and self-care. I also work as a field leader for Ulta Beauty in the beauty industry. So I get a lot of education in my position. I like to bring you that education here, but ultimately I'm just out here talking about makeup, I'm sure you're out here looking for somebody talking about makeup. So let's be friends through this process. I sure hope that you find that you like it. You want to stick around and that you'll subscribe before you go. With that said, let's roll into this deck of panning uh, update because I'm super excited to talk to you guys about all the products and all the things and hopefully pull some more cards that are amazing cards, not awful cards. <laughs> All right, so as I said, this is the brainchild of Emily from Emily and Max. All the information is included down in the description box below. If you wanna become a member of this game, all that information will be there for you. The game board is something that Emily does. She pulls it all together. She randomizes it every single month and it's just fun. It's just fun. Like I said, this is my usage goal project here on my channel. I do have three different projects going. One is called Turn and Burn. It's four samples and deluxe size items. One is called Project Pan. It is my completionist Project Pan. And then this, which is the deck of panning, which I use for just usage goals. It's not often that I put something in here that I'm anticipating finishing off unless I get that prompt, of course, but there is a product that I put in last time for a finish um, goal, but it was because I was mostly gone in the first place. So instead of just continuing to ramble on, let's just start going into the products that I brought in last month and the five cards that I chose. Uh, just a friendly reminder, the cards that are the face cards and the Joker, they don't change month over month. So my first card that I pulled in was the King of Spades, which is has a pan. It will always be has a pan all throughout this year. And this year I pulled it. So I got a has a pan and the only product that I have in my collection or had in my collection still have in my collection that had a pan in it is the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself eyeshadow palette. This is a palette that was part of my project pan last year as a quasi can I do a pan that palette moment and I found out very quickly that I cannot do a pan that palette because I just don't focus a whole lot on a palette. I like to rotate through my palette collection. I have my palette review series here on my channel so one palette getting use all year long just doesn't appeal to me so I know better right? I know better go forward. 
but I was able to get quite a bit of pan on this palette while it was in my project pan. So you can see these two shadows up here do have pan and then this center shade here also has pan. It's supposed to be a highlight. I can't use it as a highlight. Honestly, it's way too chunky for me. I did roll in this center shade as my has a pan item for this project and I rolled it in for five uses. I actually did use this middle shade eight times so it did see quite a bit of usage on it, but I doubt that you'll be able to see any kind of difference, you know, month over month in this product because mostly I was just taking a pencil brush, putting my pencil brush in there and using it as a brow bone highlight or an inner corner highlight. It wasn't seeing a whole lot of product getting used every single time I used it, but I did get use out of it eight times in this project um, for a five time use goal. So it will be rolling out and that's definitely one new card that we were we would be pulling. The next product I had in here was for Jack of Diamonds. And again, that is a face card. So the Jack of Diamonds is a cream or liquid product. For me, I did pull in the Dermalogica Intense Moisture Balance Moisturizer. This was nearly gone when I pulled it in and current state, it is gone. I pulled it in to finish the product and I did darn well do the thing. So super excited to have a skincare empty in my collection. This did get a lot of use on my arms and my legs and my feet and my hands and not on my face because I feel like this kind of smells like dirty socks. However, today, Today I finished it off using it on my arms, my legs, my feet, my hands, and my face. Not in that order, <laughs> but it definitely did see quite a bit of usage today just to get it used up because I was not going to roll this into the next month with one or maybe two uses left in it. So I did use it up today and super excited to have that as an empty. So that is two cards that we are going to be pulling in for sure. The next one is the Three of Diamonds. The Three of Diamonds was a splurge product. And for me, I did bring in the Danessa Myrick's uh, Experience Palette, which is her Lightwork Volume 3. This is a palette I purchased. This is an expensive palette and there are eight shades in it that I rolled in for a no pan left behind thought process. And you guys can see on here, every single one of those boxes has a check mark on them because I was able to utilize this palette, no pen left behind. Today is the last day that I used it and it was this shadow here, which is called Martian and it is what's in my inner portion of my lid. I used this one as an eyeliner one day. I used this one all over my lid one day. I think this one was also an all over the lid shade. This one went underneath another shadow to kind of give it a little bit of a pop and it has a little bit of a tackiness to it. So it did work well as a tacky piece, but that is how I use this one all over the place all the time as a tacky base for my highlight or for my lid shadow or whatever because this one is like a lot of a creamy baseline so is this one to be honest um these two saw the most use probably three or four times each but the rest of them i did just use the one time but because i got every single shadow in this palette used up this is also rolling out of this project as a product that needs to be in my deck of panning. So I did finish those three. The two I was unable to finish because we pulled five items last month were the Seven of Spades, which is a highlight. For that, I pulled in this. This is the Trustique All Over Star Starlighter in Ultraviolet. This is a really beautiful highlight in like an ultraviolet shade. It's kind of got this like purple to blue iridescence to it. I did use this quite a bit actually. I did get seven uses out of this project, uh, product, which is a lot more than I thought I was going to get. I did have this in for 10 times use. So I do need three more uses out of this before I can roll it out. So that will be staying in. And then the last one is the three of spades, which was a primer. And for the primer, I bought, I brought in the Yensa Tone Up Primer in Essential Glow. For this, I had a 10 times use as it well. And this I used a total of, it looks like 10, but 
it's actually nine because I thought I was done with it and then I looked at down at my little markers here and I don't know if you guys can see that but it's like can you guys see that it's like three lines with another line through it so that's actually four uses instead of five uses so I only need one more use on that and that includes today what I will say is there is not much left in this product regardless I do think that at the end of the day I could probably have this done there's a ton of air in there but this I am going to roll four because I know it will be a product that is leaving within like maybe tomorrow when I put on my makeup so I'm going to roll for this even though I'm not done with it but it was a really really sad day for me to realize that it it was a product that I wasn't done with that I thought I was done with. So I am actually, if you guys are counting up, I am actually pulling four cards today because we're going to call the Yensa one quasi done. I probably won't go over it with you again next month just because it is a product that's almost done in my collection. It seems redundant for me to pull for it and then talk about it again next time but here's what I will tell you this is going to be an empty in my collection very very quickly because I'm just gonna leave it out and continue to use it until it's gone I love this primer it, it's what I'm wearing today it is a beautiful primer it just kind of smells like pencil shavings it always has though I would think that it's going bad but it's always smelled like pencil shavings I've always said that but Yensa is a product line that I think they sell at yes style and I'm just not I just don't shop at yes style not because I don't want to but, but because I just don't know much about yes style to be honest so I would pick up this primer again though it's a beautiful primer it's got this really nice like almost iridescence to it that gives your skin a nice healthy glow this is a primer that I wear on my skin on its own sometimes just because it's so pretty on the skin it's got not really any kind of like weird like look to it it's just like you know a beige but it just really does go on the skin and give it this really nice healthy lip from within glow to it so I will just keep it on my vanity and continue to use it until it becomes an empty for me but we are going to pull another card for it. with that said we are pulling four cards I haven't looked at the game board yet because I don't know I feel a little bit superstitious sometimes with that I do have my joker in here let's pull it out there it is Oh, I'm glad I'm shuffling because that's like the third card. This is not a great card. It's not a card that I ever want to get, but I try not to talk about what I do and don't want to get because I find that I jinx myself. I did end up with the Joker like five times, four times last year. That's enough for me. That's enough. It truly is. The Joker is Are You Joking Me? So it is a product that you don't want to pan. Not necessarily that you're going to hate pan, but one that maybe you love and you are trying to hoard or maybe long term use kind of product. Maybe it's a red lipstick. Last year I had a pigment in a red lipstick in and I can't remember what some of the other ones that I pulled were, but I'm going to shuffle these cards and let's look at the game board because that'll help explain some of the other ones. The face cards, Ace, Jack, Queen, and King do not change. Those ones will always stay the same. But this month's game board, uh-oh, I'm wearing a gray shirt. So that could be a problem. Out of control category, I actually blushes, highlights, palettes, it could be a little bit of anything. Oh, the shame. That's fun. I have one of those. That's a product that has been in your collection for quite some time and you've never used it. Um, I like the prompts this month. I'm super excited about the prompts this month. I like them. Like I said, I don't like to talk about 
the ones that I do or don't want because I feel some sort of way about how it's going to jinx me. And I just pull off the top of the deck for, I don't like shuffle in between or anything like that, but I do always cut the deck with you guys and then shuffle one more time and then we'll pull four cards right off the top. Okay, here we go. First card, King of Hearts. So the King of Hearts is hit a pan. That means I have to hit a pan in whatever I pull in. Next card, card number two. That is the Six of Clubs. Spotlight a panner. That's fun. And then we have card number three, Nine of Hearts. The Nine of Hearts is chopping block. And last card, the Four of Spades. The Four of Spades is matches eye color. So my eye color is brown. So that's going to be super easy. So we have a hit a pan. So that's going to be a product that is long term. Then I have spotlight a panner. Then I have the nine of hearts chopping block item. And then I have the four of spades, which is matches eye color. All right. It's going to take me a second. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I think I have it. I think I have it. That was a lot harder. I had to go back and watch some videos from my panner friends. Um, I kind of knew what I wanted to do, but I couldn't remember which of my panner friends had put it in their, their stuff. So let's start with what I pulled first. I don't know if I've got these in the right order as far as how I pulled them, but the King of Hearts, I definitely know, was the first thing that I pulled, and this is Hit a Pan. And there's literally not, there's not a lot in my collection that I'm anywhere close to hitting a pan on. So I thought that the easiest thing to bring in would be an eyeshadow, because I like eyeshadows. And then I thought through the lens of what kind of eyeshadow do I want to make sure I bring in and really it's about having that inner corner brow bone shade regardless so for that I am pulling in the Winky Lux Kitten palette which is a super old palette in my collection this palette has seen a lot of use I am pulling in this shade here which is the shade Purr and it is just a really beautiful like light baby pink frosty shade that I love so dang much. It would work well as an all over highlight. It would work well as an inner corner a brow bone shade. So I am going to pull that in. And I figure too, at the same time, this will get a lot of use as a palette that is just sitting on my vanity. So that really excites me as well. So that is the product that I'm pulling in for Hit a Pan. For number six of clubs, this is Spotlight a Panner. And one of my favorite people on the planet, also one of my favorite panners, is Jen from Project Beauty. And she had in her Project 10 uses the Dior Concealer. And this is a concealer that I love as well, that I think that I'll get a lot of use out of. I have the shade 2N. And I'm just going to bring this in for 10 uses so that I can get those 10 uses out of it. It will likely be done the next time we roll through our updates because I will just make sure that it goes onto my face every single time I wear makeup over the next 30 days. And hopefully we'll have that rolling out as well. And then the next one was... I want to say it is the nine of hearts, which is a chopping block item. And one of my least favorite things, again, bringing in a palette because of all the things in my collection that I can think of that might be a chopping block item, it is this eyeshadow palette. And it's just because I just think this brand is pretty overrated in a lot of, uh, especially in eyeshadows. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame eyeshadow palette. And not that I don't love the color story because I definitely love the color story. 
It's just about these shadows specifically. I think that they're just a little bit too satin. I, I just wish there was a mat in here. And while I know I can pull for a mat, that's not the point of a quad. A quad is supposed to be all encompassing. I just don't find that this is eyeshadows that I love. And I just don't find that the finishes of these eyeshadows are also something that I love. So this is definitely an eyeshadow palette that I go back and forth with as far as whether I should declutter it or not. My friend Sasha really loves Charlotte Tilbury. So I've thought about taking it with me to FLC for her specifically. And this will give me a good idea of whether I should or should not. I'm putting this in with a goal of 10 uses because there's only four shadows. That means at least I'll get a good amount of use out of each shadow, hopefully. I do not want 10 uses on one shadow. It has to encompass all four shadows being used at least twice. So 10 uses with each shadow in here being used at least twice. I think it's going to give me a good idea of whether this should be a palette that goes or no. And then the last item was the Four of Clubs, which is matches eye color. Sorry, Four of Spades, which is matches eye color. My eye color is brown. For that, I am bringing in this. And this is in a different component than it normally comes in. This is actually the makeup by Mario, and my eyes are quite a bit more brown than this, but this is as brown as it's gonna get for me right now. This is a makeup by Mario Sculpt Stick, and the Sculpt Stick component broke on me. So I did put it into here and another, another component because I just had far too much to fit into one component because I didn't have very many components. So the Makeup by Mario Sculpt Stick is in here. I am giving myself 10 times use on that as well. I don't think it'll take me much. I, I don't think it'll take me, you know, the whole month to get through that. As long as I wear my makeup 10 times, both of these products can roll out the next time. And then we will likely also see this product roll out next time. But the other two will be in here for a minute. I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to be a lot long for me for that to hit pan. But that is what I have for you. That was my update to decapanning for the month of February. If you are part of the decapanning crew, let me know. I would love to come and watch your video as well. I do go through the playlist, so make sure your video is on the playlist. If not, tap L Emily and say, hey, yo get me on that playlist. Um, but also thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you and yours are well, that you are all safe and healthy and getting along as best you can, that you are all loving each other, but loving each other from afar. And until next time, bye friends.